Today we're looking at the Sweet OBD2 scanner. It has Bluetooth, so once you connect it to your car, you can easily talk to your phone. Make sure that the indentation side, the screw side thing, is facing away from the car. We're in the Ionic 5 right now, so once you're making sure that it is facing away from you, go ahead and plug it in. It's somewhere on the left-hand side of the car, and you can definitely feel it. It should slide in smoothly without any resistance. Once it's plugged in, the light is lit so you know it's ready to go. This unit is only compatible with Android. If you're on iOS for phones or tablet, there's another model that you can use as well. For some reason, that's almost twice the price of this Android version. Now, in order to talk to the scanner, you'll need this app. It's called Car Scanner. Go ahead and click on Connect. Click on Next. It want to know where you are located, so go ahead and grant it location. The connection type we're using is Bluetooth. Next, select your device. Next, go ahead and select the Bluetooth device. When you first connect to the device, it will ask for a passcode. Usually it's 0000 or 1234. So if one of them doesn't work, try the other one. Finally, on the bottom, select the profile. Ours is the Hyundai, so go ahead and find Hyundai. And then scroll all the way down somewhere in the middle for the Ionic version, since we're looking at the Ionic 5 today. Finally, click on Next. It's going to try to pair with the scanner and then connect to it. Here we go, we're connecting to it. 0000, zero, zero, zero didn't work, so I'm going to try 1234, and that works. Before we do anything, let's click on Settings. Click on Units. Since I'm in USA, I'm going to change everything to miles per hour, Celsius to Fahrenheit, etc., etc. Some of this is not really applicable because we're dealing with electric cars and we're not dealing with gas, for instance. So things like miles per gallon is irrelevant to us. Down the bottom, you can see the power units. We only care about kilowatt and not horsepower, for instance. Once you're satisfied with the settings, go back. Most of the time, people use this for checking the engine light to know what the diagnostic codes mean. The car has no issue right now, so we're just going to click on Dashboard to see everything. And by everything, I mean this app will show you everything. First up, you can see the battery minimum temperature as well as maximum. The battery heater is a good one. If you want to go to a charging station and you want to charge it up super fast, the battery heater has to be at least 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Here you can see it's about 39.2. If it's not at least 70 degrees Fahrenheit and you go to the DC fast charging station, you won't be getting that super fast charging at all. You can use your finger to swipe to the left or to the right, and every time you swipe, you get a different dashboard. This app gives you so much information that I honestly don't know what I'm looking at. The only thing I honestly care about is battery heater. If you have a favorite, please let me know. I'm kind of curious what info you use with your electric car. All right, hopefully this video helps you understand more about your electric car or even gas engine. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and thanks for watching.